help your neighbor, your county, your state and your country. A team from Stanford Medicine is also asking all of us to take a daily survey to track symptoms and identify hotspots that pop up before they overwhelm the public health system. Courtney Robinson shows you how two questions could predict an outbreak. You can see the spike. Dr. Rusty Hoffman is tracking the data. No one ever said they've had enough data uh, to figure out what's going on with almost any disease. We're really flying blind, really, quite honestly, uh, as we try and figure out how to open up, you know, different states, zip codes and counties. In the absence of widespread testing using physical swabs, Hoffman came up with a digital swab. This daily survey to track symptoms and predict where in a community we could see potential outbreaks. Really, the hope with this digital swab technology is to be able to find zip codes that that become hot, like right next to the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers football stadium. If there's a hot spot that comes up on symptoms, you know, could you devote public health resources to go and do in-person testing to actually see exactly what's going on. They need about a thousand people in each county to do this every day. Next door is amplifying the message to get neighbors to sign up and help out. So here's how it works. Fill out the initial survey, no name, no address, just zip code, age, and questions like whether you have symptoms or have been exposed. It takes minutes. Then every day after, 10 seconds of your time to answer two simple questions. You know, as a doctor, the most important thing when I see my patients in the hospital, the first question I ask them, and it's the question that you will see and have seen in the return survey, is like, do you feel better, worse, or the same? because it's that little small change that really provides the, the, the most subtle of information to doctors and scientists. With those answers, the team at Stanford can detect a change before anyone even gets tested or ends up in the hospital. It could save precious days and lives. Doing this every single day, we're gonna be able to keep a track on this virus before it likely would get out of control, which is all of us in the healthcare field, that's our biggest fear. The Stanford study launched on April 1st, and they have had about 1.6 million people using it. Dr. Hoffman says they've seen on a large scale the downward trajectory in illness, but he says to pinpoint counties and even neighborhoods. Again, that will take about 1,000 people in each area. So to do this, just Google Stanford study. It's the first thing that pops up in that search.